the 2K Sports pregame show. Welcome to 2K Sports, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson, sitting alongside the big diesel, Shaquille O'Neal, and the prop plane, Kenny Smith. And coming up in just a bit, tip-off will be live from Oakland as the Warriors go up against the Houston Rockets. And for Houston, the results have been excellent for them over the first half of the season. And it has to be said, they're not showing any signs of slowing down anytime soon. Hold on to your seats, folks. Should be a wild ride. Whoa! Two athletic clubs facing off. Kenny, how do you expect this one to go down? Ooh, lots of highlight reels, lots of highlight reels, Woo! lots of highlight reels, Woo! and great showmanship. Woo! Should be exciting for the players and the fans. Woo! The team that takes care of the basketball will have Woo! the edge. Woo! Okay, time for tip-off. We send it over to... What are you riding, a horse, Ernie? Woo! Kevin Harlan. It's not a roller coaster, is it? K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. The Warriors have a Western Conference contest on their hands as they prepare to defend home court here at the Oracle Arena in Oakland, California. Happy holidays, everyone, from all of us at 2K Sports. And do we have a present for you today? Along with Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, I'm Kevin Harlan. Here with us, basketball expert and former late-night comedy writer, a lot of people don't know this, Bill Simmons. Yeah, as soon as I left, Kimmel's show took off, so I, I think I was the reason. You built the foundation for I it, did. let's be honest. I was there for the early years. <laughs> you said it was a very influential time in your life, a very good thing for you to do. Oh, it was fantastic. I learned a lot. I learned how to uh, not put, get my jokes on the air, <laughs> and I learned a lot about humility. <laughs> You look at Houston. They had a lot of momentum right now, playing well and looking very good. Yeah, and they look like a squad that's enjoying playing together. I love what I'm seeing from them in terms of that chemistry these past few days. And playing well and winning games will do that for you. Now let's send it down to David Aldridge, standing by from the sidelines. David? Well, guys, we know how dominant the Warriors are, but we also know that turnovers remain their Achilles heel. Now, Steve Kerr says... Sometimes the game comes too easy for our guys. They think they can do anything. We just have to keep it simple. The simple leads to the spectacular. And as the simple reporter, I send it back to the spectacular Kevin Harlan. DA, thank you. And by the way, you're in the Hall of Fame. Bill in Houston, if there's one critique of James Harden's game, it's been his defense. But do you think that's changing a bit? We're seeing some evolving in his game definitely changing first of all he's playing defense now mm -hmm. which has been been a revelation jeff bezdelic i think has really gotten his fingerprints on him yeah good name drop too by the way i like i, I like that yeah i you know what changes your defense is being picked apart online and twitter gifts and youtube clips and people on studio shows on big giant hd screens pointing out that you didn't try on this and that you're a matador and I think that, that there's been a shaming element of his defense that's, that's actually point. been successful for him. And I, I wish we had had that in the 80s for Dominique Wilkins and some of these <laughs> other guys. Maybe if we had shamed Dominique Wilkins, maybe we would have played better defense. A look at the opening lineup for the Houston Rockets. Over on the wings, it's Harden paired with Mello. Marquis Chris is out there with Clint Capella. And it's Paul in at the point guard position. And Harden is a nightmare in the pick and roll. Just a clever combo guard who is completely unpredictable. The Rockets shooting their first free throw of the night. And they've had really good numbers all season from the free throw line. Here's Curry. Thompson outside. Curry with it. Ball's knocked loose, and it goes out of bounds. Uh, last touch by Paul. Oh. 
Now off the inbound, and Thompson throws it down. Well, don't let the pretty stroke fool you. Thompson will throw it down every now and again. You've got to keep him out of the paint. Duran against Anthony. Capella finds Anthony. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. Bill, several of your books have been bestsellers. How did it feel to see your work so well received around the world? I think I was really happy that the basketball book did well because I spent a long time writing it and it was 700 pages. And when it got mailed to me, it was so big, I thought people would just be terrified of it. And, you know, it I think out, they embraced the Yeah, signs. I think they did. They liked it. I designed it for people to be able to put on their toilet or bring on an airplane or whatever they want to do with it. But uh, I was always amazed that there wasn't a basketball <laughs> book that tried to kind of group all these other books and some of the opinions and all the misinformation. Like the fact that, honestly, the reason I wanted to write the book was just that people thought Will Chamberlain was better than Bill Russell. And yet every single thing written in the 60s was that Bill Russell was better. And all the players would say Bill Russell was better. And when they played together, Bill Russell's team won. So it's like, how do we get to the point where people think Will Chamberlain was better? So it was that and some other stuff that made me want to write the book. Two shots. The Warriors shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. And they've had really good numbers all Gentlemen, season from the shots. free throw line. Two shots. That's good from your Repco. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw line. Rockets on offense. Four point game. In the corner, Harden over Thompson. Good D by Thompson. Well, yeah, I mean, you want to give your offense a chance, and that possession didn't do it. Not, not at all, Craig. I mean, no reason for him to be taking these kinds of shots. He has only himself to blame. Here's your rep go. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Boy, they came ready to play. That's four straight buckets to start the game. Harden against Thompson. Shot to stop the run. That shot, no good. And Golden State will go the other way with it. They come into this having outplayed Phoenix the last game. I tell you what, uh, how efficient they were at scoring the basketball, especially for an away game, that was impressive. Yeah, I don't think it's ever easy playing on the road, obviously. But that night, they were really in rhythm, shot the ball with such ease and confidence. The chemistry of this Warriors team is so special, Bill. Clay Thompson's unselfishness and the fact that he just lets the game come to him, a big part of that. Super unselfish, doesn't care about his shots. A beloved teammate by all counts. He's the guy that all the other guys mention first when they talk about, hey, what warrior, dot, 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 and it's Clay. The answer is Clay to everything. Who's the most fun warrior? Who's the craziest warrior? Tell me a funny story about one of your teammates. It's always Clay. He, he just has so many thankless jobs for them. A lot of times he's guarding the best player on the other team. He's guarded point guards at some point during every run in the playoffs for them. And just a great guy to have on your team. It's hard It's hard to imagine the words without him. I think at some point maybe the salary cap will dictate they can't keep all four of these guys. And Clay is always the logical candidate to you trade him, you turn him into two cheaper, younger pieces. But I don't I ever, hate to see him leave there. Though. Well, and leave Curry because the thing with him and, and Curry together, it's been such a unique combo to have two of the best three shooters in the league in the same team. Their stats now together are starting to just crush everything. Like, they've made more threes than any other player in the playoff Isn't history. That amazing. Oh my they've God. made, what, 600, 700 threes a year, and they're just doing things together that we've never seen. I hope they stay together. Me too. Outside for Durant over Anthony. Out of bounds. Houston takes possession. 
Having an efficient three-point attack, very tough to defend. Let's see some of the best. The Warriors, number one. The threat of deep shooting makes everything easier offensively. They've been incredibly accurate from long range. Rockets trail by six. Harden's shot is off. Outside Curry. The tray. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got three assists in the game. As a catch-and-shoot player, Steph Curry is as dangerous as it gets. Now here's Paul. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Outside Anthony. Over Yurebko. Here's Capella. And the rejection by Cousins. When he puts everything he has into his defense, Cousins can be a force. Big, strong, and smart. Of course, he's going to block his share of shots when he's committed. Bill, the way that super teams are being put together right now, good or bad for the league? I'm confused. I have been watching this league since I was a kid. We've always had super teams. There's never been an era where we didn't. What do, what do people think the Jordan era Bulls were? And what do they think the Shaq Kobe Lakers were? And this is what, how the league is. I think what bothers people this time around specifically is that the Warriors won 73 games and they added Kevin Durant. Now, I, I get it. I get why it bothers people. On the other hand, your job as a franchise is to tilt the competitive advantage in any way you can toward your favor. They did a great job building their team. They did a great job building enough cap space for this year that everybody knew was coming, the yep. summer of 2016. We knew the What's cap up, was going to jump. And they played it perfectly, and they got Kevin Durant out of it. He played it perfectly, too. He was on a team. He wasn't going to win the title in OKC. He wasn't going to win the title playing with Westbrook. Not to sound like a Durant apologist, but he wants timeout, to timeout. win a title and beat LeBron James. If you're going to do that, you're going to try to get on the best possible team you can. And Houston calls their first time out of the game. And, Bill, we were discussing how teams are constructed in recent years. The changes in 2016 to camp space. How, how Kevin Durant landed with the Warriors. I see the analogy that, oh, it's like stacking a pickup game and just grabbing the best four guys and just beating people on a pickup court for four hours. But that's the thing. The league isn't a pickup game. The league, everyone operates by the same rules. And the Warriors, Everybody had a shot at him. Everyone had a shot. The Celtics had a shot. He didn't want to interview with the Lakers. The Knicks had cap space. They didn't have a chance. The Wizards had cap space. He was from Maryland. Maryland they didn't right. want to go there. So, you know, I, I think the Warriors should get a little more credit for how smart they were with everything. And he knocks down the first one. You know, it tells you something about Harden that he's led the league in free throw attempts so many times. This man is always in attack mode. And both free throws good for James Harden. And before the ownership changed in 2010, the Warriors franchise really staggered. Yeah, they staggered to the point that in 2012, I wrote a long column for Grantland about, it was like the 60 reasons you can't blame the Warriors fans for booing their owner on Chris Mullen night. <laughs> and I went through their whole history since they won the title in 74. Of just all the horrible things that happened to them, all the dumb moves they made, all the dumb trades, all the things they never should have done, it was extensive. And after things flipped around, people mail me that article all the time, like, can you believe it? We've won three titles in the last four years. You just wrote this. It was feels like yesterday. And it was. It's it's one of the most amazing turnarounds of any franchise I can remember. I'm assuming you're a you're a fan of their front office. Yeah, very, very smart, but you know, the pieces were there. When they bought the team, everyone thought they overpaid. And not to toot my own horn because I've been wrong a million times, but I was one of the only people who didn't think they overpaid. I just felt like that market was awesome. I loved their fans. Uh, it was in the heart of Silicon Valley. 
it made sense that they should be a juggernaut, you know, and they had never really had good ownership. And as we learn over and over every year at the Knicks, like, owners matter. They just do. Now you're up. James Harden missing on the three. Curry with a wide open look. Again, Curry missing. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Here's Anthony. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Maybe not that time, but he'll hit more than his share if he's left open. No good from Durant. Boy, not enough spring in his step on the way to the cup. He actually short arms that layup. Anthony kicks to Capella. And some nice passing there by Houston. Anthony down low, defended by Durant. Warriors leading by 13. It's Durant on the wing. On the wing, Thompson, guarded by Harden. Durant just inside the line. Busts the J after the KG pass fake. Durant's got eight points. Uh, I don't know if you can do it any better on both ends than they have tonight. I don't think you can ask for anything more, Greg. What a wonderful job establishing a lead early in this one. Now a timeout called by Houston. I got it. And his guys are getting frustrated. Coach he just really kind of needs to calm them down. I think, Greg, they've got to continue to believe that the next shot is going to go in. He can hopefully communicate that effectively to them. Some changes for Golden State. Looney's checked in for Eurepka. Iguodala comes in for Kevin Durant. And it's Livingston in for Steph Curry. Now, here is Knight. Playing Memphis, he was nearly unstoppable. They need this one. And as it goes out of bounds, Houston able to keep the ball here. And now let's take a moment to check out the stats for Green. How his last 10 games have gone. He's averaging 11 points a game, four rebounds, and two assists. And it's always nice to be able to bring a shooter like him off the bench. Well, hard to win if you can't get points productivity. And that's what makes this guy valuable to that second unit. Here's Tucker and the rejection by Cousins. And they've done a nice job controlling the defensive backboard to start this game. A, a real struggle to shoot the ball in that first quarter. Iguodala, no good. And it's not easy to get those stops at the rim, but he does a great job with it. Yeah, he can make it look simple on the interior when it's really not. He knew exactly how to guard on the inside. Now, here's Knight. He was averaging around five and a half points a game. Cans it from downtown. Bill, with last year's do-or-die season finale between Minnesota and Denver, final game of the regular season, momentum is gathering for a play-in tournament, maybe for the last two playoff spots. What do you think about that? Yeah, I wrote about this in 07. I had a whole, I called it the entertaining as hell tournament, where basically the first seven seeds were guaranteed, and the 16 teams that didn't make it uh, out of the two conferences, they just went head to head, yeah. single elimination. And then you have the final two games in New York City, and you blow it out, and you have a fun thing with it. I think that Minnesota Denver game was important. And, and maybe the solution is you have the six seeds guaranteed in each conference. And then you have seven, eight, nine, ten in each conference, and you just have playing games. You have seven versus ten. You have eight versus nine. You do it over the course of a couple of days. You use the TV revenue from that because you could get good money from that to maybe shorten the season. Great which idea. Would be for me the number one thing I would change about the week. I, I think we should have a 70 game season. You could talk me into 76, but there's too many games. If there's too many nights where the players... I just think basketball is really hard to play. Here's Tucker after the made shot from Andre Iguodala. Shot from the wing. Misses off the left iron. Yeah, and something we always talk about, though, shot selection. Yeah, that's not a good example right there. You could have worked it around to get a better opportunity. Now, here's Thompson. He's coming off a 19-point game against the Suns in Phoenix. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. Got to admire what he's been able to do at the free throw line this season. How about over 90%? And the Warriors making a change here. Evans has checked in. Mind the lanes. Mind the lanes. 
One shot. Thompson no good on the free throw. Well, to me, Clay Thompson has proven to be one of the best players in the game. This guy is an incredible sniper from long range and defends at a very high level. Now, here's Green. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Here's Knight. The putback. Great positioning on the putback. Well, Nene is eating glass on the offensive end. You like to see that aggressiveness. Livingston kicks to Evans. Now here's Livingston. Tight defense on him. Overnight. Livingston no luck. And it's Ennis with the ball for Houston. They trail by 16. Want to keep rolling here following the win against Memphis. And, and guys, they just got so many good looks in that one. And the defense never able to affect their offensive rhythm. Well, I think the defense from the other team was simply porous. There's no other way to put it. So many openings, and they made them pay for it. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Here's Knight. Cast in an A. They kick it out to Green. Another shot. Chalk up two there. Well, what a terrific option he is for them. Really puts a ton of stress on an opponent. Now here's Livingston. Here's Thompson. Got it from 16 feet. Thompson's got nine. And guys, they've come out and established a rhythm. And also their play calling has been on point. Yeah, I think that's exactly how they built this lead. They played as one, shared the basketball, running their offense to perfection. And as we conclude the first quarter, a one-sided game so far. Warriors lead by 18. And we'll be back with you for the start of the second quarter when we return. There's a great friendship between Melo, LeBron, Dwayne Wade, and Chris Paul. And Chris talked about where all that started. You know, sort of a long relationship, you know. And obviously me, Bron, Melo, D. Wade have all really got really close. And that stems from the time with the Olympics, uh, USA teams, and then just sharing a lot of the same likes and, and values and having kids and family and different things like that. And you see that a lot nowadays, star players developing friendships and GA spending time with each other off the floor. Yeah, hey, some people hate it because they, they want that bad blood you used to see, but no reason you have to hate someone to really compete against them. And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And for the Warriors, this has been the game they wanted to have. I mean, an interesting first quarter. The pressure D seems to be causing a lot of turnover. Feels like they're getting a lot of deflections, hands on basketballs, resulting into steals. This has been pretty to watch. Taking a look at the Rockets, E.J. Tucker is out there with Ennis. Then it's Green. Then there's Brandon Knight. Then it's Nene in at the five. Now here's Tucker. Defense is right there. Clock at four. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Thompson's got five rebounds tonight. And here we are, the Warriors' final season in Oakland, Bill. They'll be moving to a brand new arena across the bay in San Francisco. Yeah, bittersweet. I'm excited that there's an arena downtown. And, you know, the Oakland-San Francisco thing was always weird to go to Warriors games, drop in, figure out where to stay, all that stuff. On the other hand, I thought they had the best crowd of anybody. I agree. Uh, for years and years there, just like very blue collar, old school, fans that have been coming for years. He stuck with them even in the lean times. Yeah, the lean times were every year. Right. They had no, no year other than lean times. And, and now that the team got good the last six years, you could feel the audience changing a little. And now it's changing a lot. I, I just miss the Oakland fan base, and I hope, you know, once we expand to 60 teams or 70 or wherever we're going, I'd like to see Oakland get one of the 70 teams. Well said. The Warriors have gone 2-4 of four at the free throw line. Clay Thompson. 
Two shots. No good on that one. And the second free throw, good. And we're a little over a minute and a half into the second quarter of action. Thompson against Green. Night for three. It's hauled in by Andre Iguodala. Warriors leading by 19. And Thompson kicks it to Looney. Thompson surveying the floor. Just five on the clock. And the Warriors miss again. Rockets trailed by 19. Bill, a top advisor for the U.S. High School Athletics and Activities Division, recommended that schools adopt esports programs. What's your take on that? I'm all in. It's probably my son's only chance to go to college. So I really, I really hope it happens. <laughs> now, listen, the, 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 <laughs> the world changes every decade. I know. And you got to change with it. And the reality is eSports is one of the biggest things we have now. And if you're under 15, you're way more likely to play video games than, and be good at that than you are to do anything else. So why wouldn't we be able to benefit from that? The whole esports in general, just the audiences they're getting, and as a spectator event, that's been building. So why wouldn't that work for college? Harden gets the bucket. Well, great vision by Nene, right? I mean, if you're the help defensive guy, you can't leave your man. He's that good a passer. Curry dishes to Evans. Curry passes to Looney. Shoots, and the basket for the fourth time from the field. He's a healthy four for six. Thinking about how much sports video gaming has changed over the decades, Bill. Can you imagine a 13, 14-year-old Bill Simmons with the 2K product? You would just be all over that, wouldn't you? You have no idea, Kevin Harlan. <laughs> I was there for every step of the video game revolution. I had an Intellivision and an Atari. I had Nintendo. I had Super Nintendo. I had all three of the first PlayStations. You played them all the time. I, I, used, I played entire Madden seasons on the treadmill in... When I was like in my early 30s, try playing playing any video game on the, on the treadmill. treadmill. <laughs> try it and try not falling off. It's impossible. So sure it I've is. been there every step of the way. I am pro esports. Uh, basketball. I, I'm jealous of the people who can play Take 2K well because there's just that sound like an old guy, but so many buttons and so many it. things to remember. I'm always so impressed when people. I just remember all the combinations and stuff. I'm like, jealous. Like your son, your son does it. My he son could plays do it. it. Yeah, I, I know. Could, it. But I could have done it. I want to. I take, know you could have. I want to take 1984 <laughs> me out of a time machine and just give me this game. I would have unleashed. Yeah, but 13 year old Bill Simmons would like what 40 year old Bill Simmons is. It, 13 year old Bill Simmons would be amazed that 48 year old Bill Simmons was getting paid to do anything. He'd really be excited about that. Just that he wasn't living at home would have been. We would have been fired up. And so it's Paul with it, bringing it up for the Rockets. They get to take on the Blazers at Portland after this one. That'll be the second of this two-game road trip. Capella finds Harden. Warriors with the rebound. Evans passes to Curry. And he banks in the layup. Curry's got six points in the quarter. Boy, when Curry is hot, look out. This guy is fantastic at understanding what the defense is conceding and making them pay. And Steph Curry with the foul. That's his first foul. Off the inbound. And Capella with the layup. 
Capella's got his first basket of the night. Boy, that's all by design now. Get the shot as soon as possible on that inbound pass. Curry kicks to Livingston. And there's the pass to Durant. Releases. That one off the back iron and out. Rockets trail by 21. To the inside. And Chris throws it down. Well, first of all, that's a great pass. But how about Chris with the vertical assault on the rim? And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Habit. Now here's Curry. He's got 15. Drills the three-pointer. Continuing to push the action and build this lead. You can tell they've got their foot on the gas pedal right now. No slowing down. The defense starting to look helpless. Good work there as it goes. And that's now 11 points for James Harden. Yeah, just constantly attacking the paint. Harden does not settle. Curry against Paul. Curry can't get it to go. Man, right play, wrong result on that one. Generally, you knock those down. Yeah, that's a surprising miss, Greg. I have a feeling if they get that shot again, they'll knock it down next time. And it's another James Harden special we're witnessing here tonight. I think this fella's got some game. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Evans. Well, that's just taking your eyes off the target before releasing the pass. Very careless. DeMarcus Cousins. He's checked in for Sean Livingston. Harden against Evans. Here's Capella. That one a little long. Boy, with that much space around him, maybe he's better off attacking the basket than settling for the jumper. Shots good by Durant. Timely passing leads to assists, and that's been the recipe for success. Anthony finds Harden. Back to Anthony. Pass to Capella. And here's Chris. Another miss by Houston. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. Evans outside. Back to Durant. Down to five on the shot clock. And they turn over the 24-second buzzer, signaling the shot clock violation. And a look now at the breakdown between three-point and two-point shots attempted here tonight for the Warriors. I really like how they've been attacking offensively. If the three-point shot's there, they take it with confidence. And when the lane does open, they are more than willing to attack at the rim. Now, here is Harden. He's got 14. Takes a three. The Warriors pull it in. Cousins has got six rebounds in the game. Here's Evans. A beautiful reverse layup. Well, the multi-time scoring champion Kevin Durant is showing you he has got as complete a game as there is in the NBA. What a pretty pass. Here's Chris. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. Paul surveying the floor. To the middle. Outside Durant. Over Chris. And he gets it to go. Hitting off the back of the rim. Durant's got five points in the quarter. Well, you've got to look at this guy's shooting as one of the main reasons they've been able to build this lead. To halt the run. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And the foul called on the Golden State Warriors. The Rockets shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Two shots. First free throw is good. Yeah. 
And both free throws good for James Harden. Warriors leading by 22. Curry passes to Yurepko. Back to Curry. Passes to Yurepko. A three-pointer, no good. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And the dunk by Capella. And the future Hall of Famer loves to dish the rock. Paul has a pass-first mentality. He makes everyone around him better. For Houston, they haven't yet missed a free throw. Five for five. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. Now here's Evans. He's coming off a 13-point game against Phoenix. Yeah, don't forget how great he was drawing contact and getting himself to the free throw line. Picked up a ton of easy points there. Now here's Harden following the shot by Kevin Durant. Pass to Chris. Let's it go with a three. Drains it from beyond the arc. Chris, Chris has got five points in the quarter. Uh, the touch is there. Next comes the consistency. Chris wants to be seen as a threat from deep. Now here's Evans. The feed to Durant. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That's on Clint Capella. The Warriors have gone 5 of 8 from the charity stripe here tonight. Kevin Durant. Two. Two shots. The free throw drops for Durant. I think Kevin Durant has proven he's all about winning. He's going to do whatever it takes. This guy is a gamer. He can meet the biggest moments, and he's willing to grind. I just love watching this guy go. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for the Warriors. Durant hits them both. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Houston Rockets. They trail by 18. He kicks it to Capella. Harden inside the three-point line, and it's wide right. Hits off the rim. Boy, the way he's been going, he is not going to be the guy to turn this around. Anthony against Durant. Cousins dishes to Durant. Back to Cousins. His three-pointers off the mark. Rockets trail by 18. Harden with it. And Curry picks him up defensively. Harden kicks to Chris. Harden against Curry. Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Houston shooting their seventh and eighth attempts at the foul line tonight. Two shots. He's off on the first. Andre Iguodala is checked in for Golden State. Houston also making some changes. Nene, he's checked in for Capella. P.J. Tucker comes in for Marquise Chris. And it's James Ennison for Carmelo Anthony. He hits the second from the line. Warriors leading by 17. Curry kicks to Iguodala. Feeds it to Durant. Got it. Good job in the low post. Durant's got 17. What a phenomenal quarter from the field. A great shooting percentage. Excellent shots. This is really well done. 
Here's Harden. Tries again. Ennis in the corner. The Rockets again can't hit. The Warriors have gone 8 of 15 since we began the second quarter. Excellent shooting. Here's Thompson. That one goes in. Thompson's got five points now in the quarter. Well, there's a certain level of poise there. There's also length and athleticism. Nice shot by Clay. Paul kicks to Harden. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Harden's got a pair of triples in the second now for the Rockets. Bill, what a pleasure to have you with us. Great as always to hear your thoughts, your commentary. I hope you join us again soon. I love it. Anytime, Kevin. Tell me. Thank you. Door is always a spirited discussion when Bill's involved, not afraid to share his personal views. Yes, Kevin, he has broken the internet once or twice. This guy is no stranger to controversy, but I will say this, he is passionate about the NBA. And it's the Warriors with the ball. The Rockets making the shot. Here's Curry. No good with the elbow jumper. And it's Houston's ball. They're on a 14-6 run. Ennis passes to Harden. Count it. Harden's got 22 points. I'll tell you, what a start in the first quarter, and now he's taking it to a new level here in the second. Iguodala finds Cousins. Over Nene. Well-placed jumper from the free throw line. Cousins has got his second bucket tonight. Can't forget about the mid-range, Jay. Cousins rising up with confidence from there. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. There's the pass to Paul. 14 feet away, and Curry pulls it down. Pass to Durant. No good on that one. And it's not easy to get those stops at the rim, but he does a great job with it. Yeah, he can make it look simple on the interior. When it's really not, he knew exactly how to guard on the inside. And so it's the Golden State Warriors with a sizable lead as the quarter wraps up. They're ahead, 16 points. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Thanks, Kevin. Joined here by Steve Kerr. Coach, great offense from your guys in the first half. What got you to lead? I started calling some great plays for Steph Curry. That's why you're the coach of the year, Steve. Thanks. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David, for that interview. And we'll see you back here after the break for third quarter basketball. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to you, 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 I guess. And you. Not you. Not him? You. Oh, her, for sure. Them. Yes. This is Ernie Johnson. That's Kenny, that's Shaq. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. The first half was all about Stephen Curry. He had 18 points, two rebounds, and three assists. He struggled in their last game, but he's not having any problems tonight. Really good first half for him. He was right on the mark. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, they knocked the win out of the defense in transition, converting fast break baskets in volume. It's a runaway lead right now. In fact, this looks like a track meet. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Rockets. Their field goal percentage reminds me of Kenny's breath. Brutal. Not reading the defense, not getting enough quality looks. They need to make major changes because the system they ran in the first half was not working. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. My brother. As we return to the action here at Oracle, a terrific look from above at downtown Oakland and the historic Tribune Tower. 
And there wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. A fantastic game from Harden in this one. His points production thus far off the charts. It's only been two quarters. Just a great effort for him for the entire half. I don't think you could ask for anything more from this guy. He has been fantastic to start this one. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. Thompson and Durant, the deadly shooting wing pair. DeMarcus Cousins out there with Yurebko, and it's Curry in at point guard. So that's the group out there for Golden State. Here's Chris. Good on the three-point shot. Three points. Chris has got the opening bucket to start the second half for the Rockets. A lot of responsibility, Doris, and being the focal point of an offense. What characteristics have you seen are shared among NBA players who carry the load offensively for their teams every game? Right. This is a great separation point to me in the NBA because there are a lot of outstanding players at the level on any given night in the NBA. But, Kevin, there is a select few players who are willing to share the lion's share of the responsibility Men like Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Russell Westbrook. Like, you have to be prepared 82 times per year to step between the lines, shoulder the load, and sometimes when you underperform, to bear the criticism that comes with that responsibility. And Kevin, you know this. That's a select few player who's willing to absorb that. Good thoughts. Rockets trail by 13. Harden right side. That shot missing. And this is really good defensive pressure, whether he gets the block or not. No, Greg, you're absolutely right. This is strong defense. It's about making the shooter feel uneasy, and that's what he did. Here's Durant. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got six assists in the game. Boy, the strength of Kevin Durant is a thing of beauty. How about the ability to stay under control as he gets bodied? Ninety seconds now into the second half. And so Curry will bring it up for the Golden State Warriors. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. They get it back, and Thompson kicks to Curry. That three off the mark. Boy, what a cold start to the second half for them. Just one for four from the field so far. Inside, pass to Paul. And some nice passing there by Houston. The tray cans it from downtown. Paul's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. And, and Paul has a beautiful stroke from deep. A, a gifted shooter who drains perimeter shots with consistency. The Rebco, and they wasted no time getting those three points back. And the Warriors lead by 15. Houston's gone past the three-point line for 13 of their shots. They're six of 13. Here's Harden, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. That's his first yeah, I, I love watching Harden be aggressive inside, one of the most efficient scorers in our game. Free throw line numbers for him, six of seven. And what a performance he's put in at the free throw line. One shot, gentlemen. Just under two and a half minutes into the third quarter now. Thompson against Harden. Thompson outside. It's Curry outside. The Rockets pull it in. Here's Paul. Shoots over Curry. Count it. And the Warrior lead has been cut down to just 10 points on the bucket from Paul. You know, you love your star players making others better and mellow with the vision there. And they call an illegal screen here. And a chance here to check out some stats on Steph Curry. He's been fantastic over the last 10 games or so. Eighth and three-point field goal percentage. Twelfth in assists. 
and he sits in the top 15 in points per game. An absolute powerhouse offensively. And back to his efficiency from three, as you said, he's top 10 in the league. Defenses are now trying to deny him the basketball, uh, but really to no avail. Now a timeout called by Houston. I think one thing you think about when you talk about Steve Kerr is how much he has relished having an opportunity to coach an amazing collection of talent. He knows more perhaps than most that great players are required to be successful. That doesn't mean it's an easy job. You've got to manage expectations year after year. Sean Livingston, he's checked in for Steph Curry. And then for Houston, Green comes in for James Harden. And Knight subbed in for Chris Paul. Now here's Livingston. He's guarded by Knight. Six on the shot clock. Livingston, that's good. And or as you watch Kerr, he really has his own distinct coaching style. How about Kevin? He once said that coaching is 90% creating environment and 10% strategy. Now listen, we know this guy is tremendous with X and O's, but there's something helpful about his sense of humor and his upfront honest approach. Kicks it to Thompson. Outside Durant, lets it go with a three. Rebounded by Capella. Capella's got six rebounds here tonight. On the wing, Green. Outside Knight, the dish to Carmelo. And here is Knight. Six points for him. Shoots over Livingston. That's good. And the Warrior lead is cut down now to just five on the basket from Knight. Uh, to me, guys, this is where he really excels. He loves to attack on the pick and roll. Knight just getting better and better. The shot by Thompson, no good. And he didn't punish them for the weak coverage there, but they can't count on him to continue missing. Knight looking for an opening. Thompson against Green. Back to Knight. Over Livingston. A shot by Knight, no good. And here's the fast break. Durant leading the way. He feeds it to Livingston. Back to Durant. The 19-foot shot. He hits the back iron and sinks the shot. Durant's got 21. Well, don't let Kevin Durant get comfortable from the mid-range because that is money in the bank. Anthony, the pass tonight. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Ten points for Brandon Knight. He's been heating it up since the break, getting some excellent looks right now. Warriors leading by five. Durant, the pass to Yurepko. Back to Durant. Out to the wing. All alone. A shot's good from Jurebko. Jurebko's got five points in the quarter. Rockets trail by seven. Knight kicks to Anthony. Back to Knight. Shoots over Livingston, and it's Houston with another. The Warriors have gone just a bit under 50% from the field since halftime. Five out of 11. Back to Durant. And the jam by Kevin Durant. Boy, KD just lethal on the drive to the rack, and he gets ahead of steam behind him. Forget about it. Knight dishes to Anthony. It's good. Anthony's got eight points. And so it's Livingston bringing it up now for Golden State. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. And the Warriors decide to take their first time out here. Now, Steve Kerr has talked about the emotional and spiritual fatigue that can set in for a Warriors team that has now played in four straight finals. And remember, Steve Kerr knows a thing or two about this from his years with the Chicago Bulls. They simply have to fight through it. Looking at who's out there now for the Warriors. Looney's checked in for Yurebko. Igudala comes in for Kevin Durant. And it's Evans in for Clay Thompson. 
Houston also making some changes. Nene, he's checked in for Clint Capella. P.J. Tucker comes in for Marquise Chris. And it's Ennis in for Anthony. Warriors leading by five. Well, Coach Steve Kerr looks to give his players breaks. Doris getting away from the game, what he calls filling their cup. Well, I think, Kevin, it's mentally taxing, battling 10 months a year over and over again. And Steve is emphasizing it's important to have time away from basketball to recharge a bit. Four on the clock. Here's Evans. Great tee that time from Green. You know, I'd have been very impressed if he had got that one to go. Tough D. Outside night. Pass to Ennis. Houston needs to get a shot. Off. And the wide open shot from Green. It's good. The assist that time from Ennis. Wow, just a two-point warrior lead. Livingston kicks to Cousins. Here's Looney. Rebounded by Tucker. Tucker's got his fifth rebound in this one. Shot by Ennis. Nobody around for the tie. They kick it out to Green. And the turnover again by Houston. And a moment here to check out who the Golden State Warriors have coming up on Saturday. They'll head out on the road to face the Kings in Sacramento. And then on Tuesday, they'll face off against DeAndre Jordan and the New York Knicks. And just looking ahead to what's on tap, there are a lot of winnable games for them, but you can't go into the stretch with that mentality. You've got to focus on what's in front of you and bring it every night. Here's Cousins. And again, no good by Golden State. Houston's gotten all four of the three-point shots to go down since halftime. They're lighting it up here. Here's Knight. And it's all evened up. Knight. Knight's got 11 in the second half. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. Livingston kicks to Evans. And the pass to Cousins. Over Nene. And that one's good. Cousins. Cousins has got six. And Cousins just a very consistent score. Effortlessly getting off the ground to sink these shots. Now, here is Knight. He's covered by Livingston. Well, he carves out the space he needs. Just the finish was not good. To the middle. Now here's Iguodala, guarded by Tucker, and there's the foul. It'll go on P.J. Tucker. That's his third foul of the game. PJ. And the Warriors making a change here. Curry's checked in. The Rockets also changing it up. James Harden, he's checked in for James Ennis. And Chris Paul's subbed in for Knight. Now here's Livingston, guarded by Tucker. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Well, think about Sean Livingston. He seemed to be ahead of the curve from day one. There's a man who could walk at seven months. Maybe I should say baby who could walk at seven months. He was reading by the age of three, playing basketball by the age of six. Kind of a prodigy, guys. That free throw missing. And you look at Livingston in high school, five-star recruit, and already a fan favorite because of the way he played. Well, Sean Livingston is an unbelievable passer. He's got great court sense. He's a perfect leadership presence in the locker room. And think about his story, the gruesome injury that certainly took a toll in his career, but the ability to fight back and make yourself an integral part of a team that has now won multiple championships. You talk about great talent but even tougher mentality now here's Paul he has five offensive rebound Nene banked in off the glass Nene's got his second basket of the night now this is Nene's craft right he works inside has a knack for getting it up and down and again no good by Golden State and so it's Harden bringing it up for the Rockets it's a one-point game 
outside green. He kicks to Nene for the lead. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Doors at times out there, things get a little heated. Some people feel like the whistle's being blown too quickly on some of these technical fouls. What do you think? I would actually completely disagree, Kevin. Oh. I think there are certain players who are given far too much latitude and others for whom the whistle does come too quickly. So I think it would be better and more helpful to the officials, the teams, oh, and also the fans to understand what is and what does cross a line. Because to me, there's no consistency. There's a lot of confusion. Uh, and I think it works both ways. Sometimes too long of a leash, sometimes too short. Excellent appraisal. The free throw is good, now leading by one. Listen, we all know a healthy, motivated Nene is an elite player at both ends. Curry against Paul. Curry finds Igudala. From the arc. And Curry, the bucket on the assist by Igudala. 21 points for Steph Curry. And that's another three. And if really, if the defense is hoping that they don't heat up from out there like they did in the first half, they may be in for a real bad surprise. Another miss by Houston. Warriors shooting it up around 51%. They're getting good looks inside. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. Andre Iguodala had some versatility coming into the league, but Doris, he's now developed into the ultimate chameleon. Well, Steve Kerr calls Andre Iguodala maybe the smartest player he's ever coached. And think about since he's entered the league, he's become stronger and a more consistent shooter. He understands exactly what the team needs moment to moment. This guy's completely unselfish, makes the right plays. I mean, this guy is a perfect player for any system. The free throw drop for Iguodala. Well, the veteran leadership, the unselfish attitude, and the versatility of Andre Iguodala, to me, this guy is excellent at whatever is asked of him. And the Warriors making a change here. Cousins is checked in. And Iguodala drops them both. 110 left to play in the third. Boy, plenty of time left on the clock. He needs to keep his poise. That's his fourth foul now. You know, when Chris Paul came to the Rockets, a lot of people questioned if he and James Harden would be able to share the ball. Both known for being ball-dominant guards. Two shots. I think you'd have to say it's worked out pretty well. That free throw, no good. And I think Chris Paul never comfortable with that ball-dominant label, Greg. He would never played with another guard who could create, certainly on the level of Harden. No doubt about it. I mean, Mo P, J.J. Redick, guys who were great shooters, but really more off-the-ball players. Chris needed to, to be that kind of a playmaker. But with Harden, he has someone just as gifted at creating baskets for himself and others. Hey, we're not seeing the best quarter by this guy, and he's lost his feel a little bit. Here's Nene. Battles through traffic and lays it in. Nene's got eight points. They are just killing him on the interior. Pass to Livingston. High post Cousins. And it's good assisting on the play with Livingston. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Now, here is Harden. He's guarded closely. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on Andre Iguodala. That's his first foul of the game, and the bonus will go to the free throw line. Oh, oh no. He's the last guy you want to put on the line. You can just about book the points 
Two every shots. time he steps up there. And the first one drops. And both free throws good for James Harden. There's that accurate touch of his at the stripe. He is locked in. Ball against Curry. And there's the three-second call, this one on the defense. The Warriors have made 10 of their 14 tries at the free throw line in the game. Stephen Curry with one. And the technical free throw is good. Well, Stephen Curry makes the game look easy. But what you know is he has put in the time to be great. And that's what you have to respect. Long range from the inbound. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. Cousins has got his third assist on the night. Hole from deep three-point land. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. The third quarter comes to a close. Warriors ahead, leading by five. And time to step aside quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. And while we can now, let's take a look at today's State Farm assist of the game. Just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? We call that Greg putting it right in the pocket. And he knew what to do with it once it was there. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. So on the floor for Houston, the engine of this team, Paul and Harden in the backcourt. Green is out there with P.J. Tucker. Then it's Nene in at the five, roaming the paint. Now here's Curry. Down low. Here's Cousins. And there are the Warriors now with another bucket. Well, the IQ is just off the charts for Steph Curry. He senses when the defense has left someone open. And I guarantee you, he will put it on time and on target. Here is Harden. No good from outside. Well, two long-range bombs in the first, but that's stalled out right now. Iguodala, the pass to Durant over Green, and it's Durant that time on the assist by Iguodala. And this is Durant's game, right? As soon as he catches the ball, he's ready. Pre-shot preparation outstanding. Harden kicks to Paul. Back to Harden. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. It's on Kevin Durant. At the line of the Rockets, James Harden. Two shots. Shooting two. The first one falls. Clay Thompson, he's checked in for Sean Livingston. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Durant kicks to Curry. Over Paul. And all around the rim that time before dropping in. Curry's got nine points here in the second half. Harden against Durant. Harden right side. They kick it out to Green. Poked away. Six to shoot. And 
two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. Yeah, way to play in attack mode and get to the line. Gerald Green taking two shots. Now, gentlemen, two shots. Two shots. And he can't get the first one. Yurebko's checked in for the Warriors. The Rockets also changing it up. Clint Capella comes in for Nene. And it's Marquise Chris in for P.J. Tucker. And he's good on the second. We're just over a minute and a half now into the fourth. And Chris Paul picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Houston making a switch here. Anthony's checked in. First personal foul, team's first. Rockets substitution. Carmelo Anthony. Curry against Paul. Knocked away. We're about two minutes into the fourth quarter in this one. 13 feet away. Shots good by Anthony. You know, you'd be hard-pressed to find many players in a league that are as strong in the mid-range as Melo. Durant finds Curry. Takes the three. Sinks the three-pointer. Curry's got five points now this quarter. What an exhibition he's putting on today. This is about as hot as you can get. Harden dishes to Paul. Here's Curry. Fouled in the act of shooting. Gets the bucket anyway, so a three-point play chance for him. Well, guys, his scoring has been maybe the biggest factor in building this lead, and he's got plenty of energy left. How about Steph Curry, guys? You look at the superstar beginnings. Think about he was born in Akron, Ohio, the same city as, of course, the great LeBron James. In fact, born in the same hospital, just 39 months apart. Something in the water over there, guys. Shooting one. And talking about Curry's start, his parents were tremendous athletes themselves. That's exactly right. His father, Dell, played 16 seasons in the NBA. His mom was a standout volleyball player. His sister was, too. Athleticism runs in the family. Those are some pretty good genes. The call will go against Yurepko. And that'll be his third foul so far. On defense, the Warriors. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Tremendous effort. I mean, this guy has already cracked double digits on the backboard. You know, and a lot of it comes down to great fundamentals. Establishing position early, controlling the carom. The offensive prowess of Kevin Durant. We knew it even back in high school, but winning the NBA scoring title at age 21... Doris, that really sealed the deal. Yeah, in fact, Kevin, becoming the youngest player to ever win a scoring title, he's obviously gone on to do it multiple times. And to me, where he's really advanced is his ability to make plays for the teammates around him. Kevin Durant prides himself on affecting winning at both ends of the floor. That's good from Durant. Yeah, and their free throw shooting has really improved here in the second half. And so Durant nails them both. You know, what you love about Kevin Durant is he has established himself as a top two player in the NBA. But the reality is he's never forgotten where he's come from. His charity work, his commitment to the communities and to the places that have shaped him, it's really kind of cool, Kevin. 
watch out. Now that he's got his first three of the half, there might be more in store. Curry kicks to Thompson. Back to Curry. Fires from deep. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Three. Thompson's got his seventh assist in the game. And in 2013, there was a series of commercials calling Durant the nicest guy in the NBA. Well, let's remember, Kevin, at that time, he was a beloved figure in Oklahoma City. He remains tight with a number of staff members there just because of the kind of person and the kind of professional he was. What you love about Kevin Durant is he's a top two player in the NBA. But in terms of his charity work, he is right there as well. Fourth quarter of play, and over three and a half minutes have gone by. Passes it to Chris. Launches a three. Cranes the three-pointer. And you know, he's enjoyed the kind of day you expect in terms of shooting the basketball. He can bring them right back into this game. Now here's Curry. Pass to Thompson. Over Harden and out of bounds as the Rockets gain possession. Ouch, that's a wasted possession. Got to shake it off and forget it happened, guys. Rockets trail by 11. Here's Harden on the wing. Kicks to Capella. Harden against Durant. A step back shot here, and he gets it to go, hitting off the back of the rim. Harden's got it back down to within single digits for Houston. And here's Curry, who brings it up for the Golden State Warriors. After this one, they're off to Sacramento to take on the Kings. That will be a getaway game for them, a one-game road trip. And the next one puts them in the bonus. Anthony against Durant, and he comes up with the deuce. Durant's got 12 points in just the second half. Well, do opposing defenses just start shaking their head when Kevin Durant starts cooking because he can heat up in a hurry? From deep Harden. No good on the shot, so Golden State will take it the other way. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Thompson for the triple. And another three for Golden State. Well, this is his specialty, right? Clay Thompson's shooting form from range so pretty. Harden the pass to Capella. Back to Harden. Sinks the three-pointer. Three points. Harden's got ten points now just in this quarter. Dominating this quarter. He's been absolutely fantastic shooting the ball, and they still trail. Now a timeout called by Golden State. Well, at the start of the summer, many expected a busy market for Capella in free agency. Eventually, though, signing a four-year deal to remain with the Rockets. I feel like it's a great deal for Houston as Capella gives them the perfect inside presence to complement Harden and Paul. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Hey, guys. I was able to catch the message Steve Kerr gave to his team. He gave them props for their defense. He said, the defense has been outstanding. Keep pressuring them, forcing turnovers, and we can win this one. Guys, here's Anthony. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got three assists in the game. Warriors leading by nine. It's Durant on the wing. Jacks up a three. Yarebko can't get it to go. Uh, boy, despite the miss, he did a really good job shaking himself completely free from the defense. And they found the touch from the field here in the second half. It was a struggle in that first. Thompson against Harden. Now here's Durant. Tight defense on him. Six on the shot clock. Durant drawing the double team. It's stolen by Capella. Harden kicks to Paul. Lob pass to Capella. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. 
And hard to decide which was better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Well, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley-oop. And a tremendous Unleash Chaos replay coming to you courtesy of Under Armour Hover Hammock. And the jam by Kevin Durant. Well, drop that hammer, KD. How confident is this guy at the cup? Rockets trail by seven. Here's Harden on the wing. To the middle. And the rejection by Cousins. It's stolen by Anthony. Harden right side. And Harden with the stuff. And I just love how aggressive Harden is inside. When he's deep like that, he is ready to finish with authority. Now, here's Jarebko. Back to Curry. Over Paul. Curry can't get it to go. The defense not a factor there. Very surprising he couldn't capitalize. Harden, no good. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. It's stolen by Anthony. And here comes Harden, leading the fast break. That's good, and the Warrior lead is cut down now to just three on the basket from Anthony. And the crisp passing has opened things up for them offensively. Curry finds Thompson. Cousins inside. Capella's there. And the Warriors miss again. Rockets trail by three to tie it up. Anthony can't hit. Thompson against Harden. And the pass to Durant. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Thompson's got his eighth assist here tonight. Well, that's where you see the IQ of Clay Thompson. A step ahead of everyone else. A beautiful delivery. And some nice passing there by Houston. Paul with the buckets. You know, you have to like that he's still getting quality touches and delivering now after getting blanked in the first half. Curry kicks to Cousins. Outside for Curry. And taken away by Paul to take the lead and again it's the Rockets from deep. Oh, whenever you need a huge bucket you know they're going to look to Mello. This is when he shines. That's tipped. Curry outside. Rockets with the rebound. Chris has got his sixth rebound on the night. Harden inside the three-point line and it's rebounded by DeMarcus Cousins. And so Cousins will bring it up for Golden State. They trail by one. That's one of those clutch shots he's known for. When the pressure is high, he seems to be the most locked in. And here's Houston. They're on a 19-7 run. And up the court come the Warriors on the break. Curry leading the charge. Well, Steph Curry continues to put pressure on the defense, just getting to the line at will. Shooting from Golden State. Steph Curry. First free throw is good. He's perfect from the line this time. Well, you knew he was going to come through there. Uh, the more that's riding on it, the better he seems to be. Pass to Chris. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Chris has got five points now this quarter. You got to give Chris props there. Although he's young, he isn't afraid of the moment. Curry from deep three-point land. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Rockets trail. Harden draws the double. Anthony, the pass to Chris. Harden kicks to Chris. And Durant comes to help. Down to five on the shot clock. 
Out to Anthony. Here's the three. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. Just so fluid on all his shots. No hesitation from Melo on the catch and shoot. Golden State's gotten eight shots off from three-point land and hit half of them. Right side, Durant. Outside for Curry. From deep. The Rockets pull it in. Outside, Anthony. To the middle. It's tipped and stolen by Cousins. Durant just inside the line. It's good. <laughs> no doubt. You love seeing him knock down the clutch basket. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're behind by one. There's 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now we get the chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Kevin Durant. And guys, he's been about as close to perfection as you can be. The intensity he's played with has been amazing. Just no let up. And as fired up as he's been, he's never let his emotions get out of control. There's 53 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Count it! And you can see him give a little nod and then just burst to the rim for the alley-oop slam. A pair of teammates, Greg, with a terrific feel for each other. Timeout called the Warriors. They're down by one. 50 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Thompson. Curry kicks to Durant. Down low, Cousins. Money! And he comes up with the crucial buckets time and again. Cousins, an incredible talent. And it's Cousins with the foul. That's his fifth foul. One seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Capella dishes to Harden. Connects from downtown. It, it doesn't matter how a defense plays him. Harden is going to make sure that the three-point shot is a primary weapon. Durant for three. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. And this is what Harden. makes KD special. The willingness to absorb the responsibility of the big-time shot. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're trailing by one. We've got 28 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Come on, fans! Let's get up and get burnt! Outside, Anthony. Offline with his three. And now an intentional foul. They need the ball back as soon as possible. No choice but to foul there, but, it, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. Two shots. It's the first, and that will put them up by two. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's a three-point game. A bit of heroics at the line right there as he bumps their lead to three and makes things a little easier for them defensively. This is what happens time out, time when out. he gets on a roll. I mean, you're not going to see a better rhythm shooter than this guy. And so Steve Kerr decides to call a timeout. Fifteen seconds left to play here in the fourth. Curry against Paul. Curry kicks to Durant. Oh, no good. And it's not easy to get those stops at the rim, but he does a great job with it. 
Yeah, he can make it look simple on the interior when it's really not. He knew exactly how to guard on the inside. And that's going to do it for regulation. So we are headed to overtime. It's the NBA on 2K Sports from Oracle Arena in Oakland, California. Glad to have you with us as we get going in overtime. Neither team giving an inch in this one. So the Rockets win the tip, and away we go here with post-regulation basketball. Courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineup for us now in overtime. Setting the floor for the Warriors. Curry and Thompson are the one and the two. Jonas Yarebko out there with Durant, and it's Cousins in at the five spot. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for Golden State. The biggest lead of the game was 24 points. Thompson against Harden. Six on the shot clock. Back to Cousins. Over Anthony. That one wide left. And here's Houston. And the wide open shot from Paul. Off target from three point range. And even without that three ball dropping for him, the defense should have done more on that last play. Inside. It's Curry outside. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Curry. Curry's got 43 points. Boy, this guy has had a major impact on this game. The scoring he has done has propelled them to this lead. Outside Durant. And a great assist by Curry as that one goes in. 44 points for Kevin Durant. Paul finds Capella. Well, overtime basketball, a minute and a half played so far. Chris can't hit. And I bet you'll never see too many guys who can put forth an effort on the boards like this one. Yeah, his production has been unbelievable. Really a testament to how much he cares about his craft. Now Paul, after the missed three from Stephen Curry. Shots good by Anthony. Woo, Melo had to break out everything on that drive to get to the hoop. He would not be denied. Pass to Yurepko. Solid play on the low block, and that one's good. Exactly the kind of ball movement they're looking for. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Now Durant following Chris Paul's three-point attempt. And good that time. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Rockets trail by eight, knocked loose, and stolen by Cousins. Duran against Anthony, the baseline J. Again, Golden State. And it's been about that execution offensively. I mean, they have been superb. Uh, there's no doubt. I mean, they're making all the right moves. Their chemistry tonight has been phenomenal. I'll tell you, that's a graceful finish. Not just any old layup. The teardrop. Ball against Curry. Here's Durant. Rockets with the rebound. Anthony's got four rebounds in this game. Lob pass to Capella. Yeah, nice silky finish on the alley-oop from the stupendous feed. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. Thompson kicks to Yarebko. Back to Thompson. Outside for Curry. Pass to Cousins. Warriors the rebound. Rockets trail by six. Down low. And Harden with the basket on the assist by Anthony. Harden's got 44. 
unbelievable basket. I mean, uh, giving up a lot of height there, but he was not to be denied. And he knows how much was riding on that possession. He wanted to score. And I love the momentum he's building. Last game, he, he was just as dominant. Well, there's no doubt this guy's on a hot streak right now. That's why he keeps getting the ball in this one. They're like, hey, we're going to feed the hot hand. Man, it, this has been fun. I mean, we got two teams dueling down the stretch. Boy, does it feel to you, Greg, like every single shot is going through the bucket? That's how lethal both of these teams have been late in this one. Here is Harden following the score by Golden State. Wasted no time on that one. And that's 17 points for Chris Paul. Boy, nice shot. He didn't need the fadeaway to create separation, though. He was wide open. Here's Durant. Uh, Mello just reading the play the right way, put in the extra effort to come up with such a nice block. To the middle. Here's Chris. Rebounded by Urebko. Boy, a kickout's probably a better option when the defense is swarming around like that. A bucket here would give them a bit more room. True, but but no need to rush it. Play smart. Man, how quick does he get off the floor? Chris rises high and sends it back. And now here's Chris. Harden kicks to Anthony. And Anthony gets double teamed. Down to five on the shot clock. From downtown. But they get it back. Chris pass to Carmelo. It's in! And that shot brings them to within just one. And this is why Melo gets the big bucks. A lot of players will shy away from an important shot, but Melo wanted to be in that position. Honestly, just doing what they have to in order to get the basketball back. So the first one drops, and that will put them up by two. So he goes two for two at the lock, and it's a three-point game. Timeout call for Rockets. They're trailing by three. Nine seconds left in the first overtime. What's your take, guys? And right now, you can go for the two and then a quick foul or go for the home run. Well, you've got to be smart regardless of what you choose to do. You shouldn't just heave the three if it's not there. Let's see what happens. The pass to Chris. And here's Harden for three. Can't knock in the three. They're going to prolong the game here with an intentional foul. It's the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. And everyone knows when Cousins controls his emotions, he's one of the very best centers in the game. And a tough break is his second attempt at the line. No good. Now a timeout called by Houston. They're behind by four. Just two seconds left to play in the first overtime. What do you think, guys? Yeah, pure desperation right now, Clark. You think there's enough time? In the corner, Harden nails the tray. And really, the defense not organized on that inbounds play. And boy, do they pay the price with the triple. Now a timeout called by Golden State. So it's a narrow victory for the Warriors, pulling out the W. They had to scrape and claw to push it to overtime, but they really came on in the extra period. What a ride. I mean, I, I thought it might end in regulation, but you know what? They came through big and did exactly what was necessary once we got into OT. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. 
Thanks very much, Andre. Good game for you and the team tonight. Is this a bigger win considering the team you beat? I think it's just a good win, uh, period. You know, we can't really think about who our opponent is. So it was a good matchup, um, good way for us to measure ourselves, and we got another big one Friday. Always another game on the schedule, Dre. Thanks very much. Back to you, Kevin. David, thank you as always. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for tuning in. See you next time.